back to another YouTube video. So by the title, you can probably tell that I am back in Toronto. And guys, it's a little bit crazy because if you haven't followed me since then, I used to actually live in the city. I used to live in Toronto. So in many ways, this is really cool and a little bit trippy to be back here. So yeah, it's really weird to be back. It's really cool to be back. I really loved Toronto. I really loved living here. I have a lot of really amazing friends here. That was honestly the hardest part of me leaving was just like the friend group that I made here. Um, I made like a lot of really good friends. So hopefully I get to see like a handful of people while I'm here. Um, but funny story, I actually was not going to vlog this tournament, this tennis tournament. I really felt like this summer there was like a chunk of vlogs that were like literally all tennis. I feel like I've done a good job with my tennis vlogs, like I'm very proud of those vlogs and just proud of the content. But I just felt like my channel was becoming like a little bit of a like... Tommy like following around Tommy's life and I do travel with Tommy quite a bit But like I have so many other parts of my life like my own home in Connecticut and like a whole life of my own And I just felt like it was getting a little bit tennessee uh, My content so I was actually like not planning on vlogging this tennis tournament in Toronto I was just gonna like enjoy being here and um enjoy the tournament and like see people and and just not vlog. I was gonna do like an updated makeup tutorial. I decided to last minute vlog. Like I literally just decided five minutes ago that I was going to vlog this tournament. But yeah, just did my makeup, just got ready for the match. It is a night match. I'm going with my friend Alex, who I've known for a long time, as long as I've lived in Toronto and we've stayed in touch and she's a really great friend. She's just a really cool, good girl. But yeah, we're gonna go to Soho House and grab a drink and then go to the match. Okay, just kidding. I just got a text from Tommy saying that he thinks I should head there now. Something that is unique in the tennis world that is very unlike other sports is that you never know how long matches are going to take. There's always an estimated time at which they think players will go on, but you really never know. So it's sometimes hard to plan your nights or get drinks before matches because matches can go really fast, matches can go really slow. So yeah, you never know. But I think Tommy is saying that the matches in front of him are going fast, so therefore he's gonna be on sooner. So we might not be able to get a drink, but I'm gonna figure it out with Alex and head to the site. And yeah, I'm really excited to be vlogging this week. I have received my 100K subscribers plaque in the mail while I was home. And it was just a really, really cool moment for me. And and I know it's a little bit like cheesy to like care about something that's kind of like superficial and it's just like a plaque. It's technically my smallest platform, but it's definitely my favorite platform, the platform that I'm most proud of. So thank you guys for helping me reach that goal. I know I've been doing YouTube for years now, but I feel like my community has grown quite a bit in the last few months. So I really appreciate you guys and I appreciate you guys watching my videos consistently. Yeah, my channel has just been like doing really well and it makes me so happy because the work I put into the videos is just worth it. I just feel like I've redeveloped like a strong YouTube community. And I just wanna like thank you guys for allowing me to reach that milestone in my career. Um, YouTube is a slow and steady growth process. So that definitely took me like three years. Yeah, it's just really cool that I'm reaching it now. Okay, I decided with my friend Alex that I'm gonna pick her up on the way to the site because this site is not near where we're staying. So I'm gonna go pick her up and then we're gonna head to the match. You're not touching the AC. Okay, Tommy and I are in a fight, guy. No, actually. You're not touching it. it. It is where it is, and it's gonna stay. I'm uncomfortably cold. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. 
Like get under the blankets, you'll warm up. No. Yeah. I'm, like I'm, I'm wearing shorts and like, stop. <laughs> Stay in bed, actually. Get under the covers, like. I know, it's not gonna do it. Like I, I'll make it my life mission. <laughs> you won't touch that button. <laughs> <laughs> you won't touch it. <laughs> Mission to the thermostat. When are we gonna film our Q and A? Right now. <laughs> Not in the mood. How about you ask the questions for me, and then I'll ask the questions for you. I asked like months ago, babe. When did I ask that? Long time ago. Okay. <laughs> Come on, what everyone's been waiting for. Ew! Don't dip on camera. Okay, something you guys have taught each other. <laughs> Come sit in the camera. <clears throat> you taught me how to like snowboard and ski, even though I don't know how to do either really, but that was fun. That's it? <laughs> how to play tennis better? Yeah. Everyone's asking how we met. Let me, let me read these. I want to I play fun. <laughs> okay. Wait, answer how we met. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how Tommy and I met. He liked a few of my photos on Instagram and liked a few photos of mine on Instagram and then... We were just talking about this the other night, by the way. And then didn't do anything. Like, liked a few photos and I was like, interesting, a tennis player. Um, and then a few days later, he liked more of my photos. Like, he went back for round two. Is that true? Yes! I don't know if this is true. Yes! No, and then, so he liked some of my photos and I was waiting for him to DM me. And then he didn't DM me. But I thought he was cute, so I DM'd him, hey, question mark. And he said, hey, babe. <laughs> I go, oh no. That's the one that did it, though. If I didn't put that babe in there, she would have never responded. <laughs> That could have been true. 100% true. We talked about this. Yeah. But yeah, he said, hey, babe. And I was like, oh, no. Like, he's definitely a huge fuck boy. I also didn't know anything about tennis or tennis guys. So I really didn't know what. What initially? 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 <laughs> initially. Were you, were you, cut, cut, cut. <laughs> what initially attracted you to Paige? Probably your eyes. Aw. I remember like the first time when we met, like seeing your eyes was crazy. Was it? Yeah. I couldn't break eye contact, so I was like always just staring. Favorite thing about each other? All right, you're picking the worst questions. <laughs> <laughs> Relationship non-negotiables. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um. She cooks. I think being like a gentleman. Okay, yeah, that's mine. I don't know. I have so many non-negotiables. All right, then being a lady. <laughs> Shut up. Non-negotiable. Wait, what's your non-negotiable? Um, you picked the question. I don't know. I'm pretty, like, career-driven, and you are too. And I mm -hmm. think that's like, like a partner that motivates. Is like. Yeah. You need that. Agreed. That's a great. It's a great one. First impression of each other. Am I going first? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure she was already drunk when, I was. right when I showed up. I was already and drunk. And she like full just gave me a kiss right away to make it not awkward for the rest okay, of the night. Okay, wait, you're literally <laughs> not telling this story good at all. Tommy! Oh, yeah. and, then, and then you handed me a shot and... Tommy, that's not what happened. Like, oh, damn. That's like, literally... ready to get after it. That's not what... <laughs> <laughs> what was your first impression of me when, like, you saw me? <laughs> I think, you know, on online there's a lot of catfishes out there, so I was pretty, pretty Stop. excited. <laughs> I was just excited. You were excited that I wasn't a catfish. Yeah. Are we are we talking at first impression, like look wise, or like personality? What? Personality wise, guys get nervous about dates too. So I got nervous like that there were gonna be awkward silences and. It was like everything was flowing super easily, so it was fun. Yeah, we always got along very well. Mm-hmm. My first impression of you 
I invited you to have a drink at my place before we met. Like instead of meeting out at a bar, I invited you right to my place for a drink. And I felt like it was crazy very- Crazy move. Crazy move. <laughs> but I felt like it was very confident of you to be like, like you were very confident. That was my first impression. Yeah, I hit you with the, hey babe, that's all Okay, well DMs aside, <laughs> DMs aside, my first impression of you was that you were very confident. Mm. And nice. I really liked that. Mm. Ideal date night. I feel like we like doing stuff. So like I feel like we haven't done it yet, but you've like done it with girls and it always looks like fire, but when you go to like the docks with pizza, that, yeah. that, that looks ideal for me. Yeah, I agree. Like somewhere outside, like the beach or a dock. What are your nicknames for each other? <laughs> Bean? Beanie? Yeah, a lot of people call her P or Pagey. My trainer calls her Pagey and I got jealous and then I started calling her Pagey. That's so true. For yeah, no, fully. Yeah. And now I got jealous and I started calling you Pagey. Yeah, you're <laughs> such a copier. You call me Bean. Yeah, yeah, being a lot. Being a lot, being the most. Can a long distance relationship work with a tennis player? We're not long distance, I wouldn't say. No, but like, I mean, we're traveling a ton and you don't go to every tournament. So it's like. I wouldn't consider our relationship long distance, but I could see. Long distance to me is not seeing your partner for like months and you're both working in two different cities. We're always together. Yeah, we're together a lot. I feel like it's... I would say <clears> that... It's, it I, would be hard. I can't imagine... I don't think I would or I can't imagine dating a tennis player that I wasn't coming with you as much as I w am because I would feel like I never spent time with you. Like, you have to be on the road if you want to spend quality time with a tennis player. Because they don't Our have... Our so crazy. Yeah, and you don't have an off-season. We do. Two weeks in December. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we need to get resets. <laughs> Did your relationship move slowly or fast in the beginning? What would you say? I felt like it was all very healthy and like... Yeah, I would agree. I think it moved like decently fast though. But I, I felt like we both knew after a week at the US Open that we were gonna date. Yeah, Franco called it too. But yeah, I feel like we moved nor like normal. We dated after like a month. Yeah. We were like treating each other like boyfriend and girlfriend, but officially dating after. Yeah, we were talking like every day. Yeah. Like we haven't skipped a day of talking since we met each other. That's so true. Yeah. What is the biggest challenge dating an ATP pro? Everything. <laughs> yeah, um, let it fly. The biggest challenge would definitely be the, the amount of, the, the lack of the amount of time at home. Um, I have so many special places that are in the States. Like, we did get to go to Colorado during your off time, but I love skiing and I love like Vermont and Colorado and Montana and Nantucket. And I had literally never done any of that stuff. Well, you'd never done any of that stuff, but you can never just take a week off. And that's not an option. No. So vacations have to be very easy to get to and from. And, and a lot of the places and the vacations that I took growing up were more experience vacations. So you go for a ski trip for like a week, you know, or you go to Nantucket for a week. Um, but your vacations have to be very short. Mm -hmm. So I think like not getting to experience those things with you, but that's fine because we can experience them later in life. Um, but yeah, like the, the amount of time that he's playing tennis i never really get him like away from your work but kind of my life it's the schedule yeah your whole life has to be tennis and if it's not you're probably not playing well pretty much favorite thing to do together anything outside really yeah i agree we like, like honestly i love riding louie with riding her. horses yeah going it's to the really barn. fun going to the barn is really fun together or like being on the ATV, like the side by side, or how do you balance content creation <laughs> and tennis life while making time for one another? <laughs> um. You foot picks. <laughs> what was the question? Sorry, I was how, totally focused on your foot. How do you balance content creation and tennis life while making time for one another? I feel like I'm very efficient with my work and. I'm very comfortable vlogging, so I can do it throughout the days 
and I feel like it, I try to like not have it be annoying or take away from anything that you're doing. It's just yeah. like I, I would say my days are pretty pretty long with practice and everything. Um, we're after. not together a lot of the day. Yeah. Yeah. But then like when we are, it's it's pretty easy because you would think that she'd be stopping and like you know, taking pictures or vlogging, and, and it really doesn't feel like that. It all feels yeah. pretty pretty natural and easy. So. Okay, I'm coming down now. Okay. Babe, <clears throat> tell me, what was the moment you knew you were falling for Paige? Um, at your house. Yeah. Like, by the fire out there, and we were, like, drinking a bit, and Blue was there, and yeah. I don't know, it was big. Was Tommy it. came back to my parents' house after the US Open. I think that's when I really knew that we were gonna date. For sure. At no, my I mean, parents. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I lived in the city, but we were both like, we wouldn't want to be anywhere else right now. Oh, I was so dumb with the city. I was ready yeah. to go, and then when I got there, I was like, this is, yeah, I wouldn't rather be anywhere else. I'm gonna get this food. Okay. Someone asked, what's filming with Netflix like? I honestly haven't talked about this ever. I think I've brought it up once on my YouTube, it's not something I talk about a lot, but Tommy is going to be a part of next season on Breakpoint. And if you didn't know, it's a Netflix series on professional tennis players. And I think I haven't talked about it that much because it's about Tommy. It's really not about me. I am a part of it. I am going to be in it and I'm a part of it. Um, and I've like spoke a bit on it. It's really like Tommy's moment and it's a really cool moment for his career and I hadn't watched the previous season yet and now I have watched both of them. Um, so yeah, I didn't really know like what it was exactly, but um, but yeah, which is gonna be kind of cool because I definitely feel like Tommy and I were very just like silly and very ourselves. A really like small group of people kind of following you around and not really invasive. So what's filming Netflix like? Oh, it's been great lately. We haven't been filming at all. Yeah, they haven't been filming much <laughs> lately. But I would say it's like very easy. I feel like, I mean, obviously for you, you're competing and you are having that pressure. I don't know what that's like for you, but I feel like they've been pretty good and respectful. Yeah. And it's been like a positive experience. Australia was No, I pretty thought they cool. were pretty good. They were. Um, I'm excited to watch the episode on Australia because they were filming during the Australian Open and you had a really amazing run at the Australian Open. What is something about each other that inspires you? The level of dedication and passion that goes into being an athlete at that level inspires me. Just like the amount that you have to work and dedicate yourself to something is very cool. Yeah. I also admire you lose but then like you move on and try to be better. And you're very positive. Like, you're a very, very positive person. I don't know if everyone on the tennis store could say this, but I would say you're, like, very positive. But, uh, I don't know. I think just your, your work ethic's pretty good, too. And I, pretty good. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good. No, it is. And it, it, I mean... Yeah, I would definitely say I'm a hard worker. You know, I don't, I don't want, I don't want you to be the breadwinner quite yet, so... Watch out! Yeah, I gotta, that, that's inspiring right there. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, honestly, if you did, if you became... Babe, I'm going to be the breadwinner. Yeah, I mean... It's not looking good for you. Rock the stay-at-home dad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Real good. Would you? Yeah, I would not be mad about it at I all. I mean, you just get to fish. Yeah, exactly. Good morning, vlog. So, I'm about to run out and go meet up with my friend Alex, who I was with last night. And I'm going to go thrift shopping with her. Um... I've been on calls all morning. We just have like so much going on because of the pop-up that is happening in New York at the end of the month. So just had like a little team meeting. And yeah, I'm just gonna head out now.
Okay guys, we are calling an Uber. We're gonna go to dinner at this really, really good Italian spot. If you're from Toronto, you definitely know it, called Soto Soto. And I can't believe we got a reservation, but it's so good. So I'm really excited for that. Are you excited? Soto Soto. Are you excited? Are you excited? Okay guys, I got my nails done. They look so, so good. I'm so happy. That place is amazing. And now I'm just at lunch, at my favorite lunch spot in Yorkville called Nervosa. I'm gonna get like what I always used to get. Um, yeah, I'm just like hanging out before Tommy's match later. vlog I just tried to take a nap and it didn't work <laughs> not sleep the best last night and I woke up pretty early some of you might already know this about me but I use a dove bar of soap to wash my face and my body it's like always what I've used or I use the first aid beauty I feel like those two products just get my face feeling really 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 clean so yeah. Do you guys remember in my last vlog, I said my favorite, favorite nude sticks color, Deep Maple A. Finally got a new one. So I'm really, really excited about this. A fresh one. And then I got this other one, this blush in Picante, which is like an orangish red. And I got this like nude blush. It's like a very natural. I kind of want to try this one. I'm going to wash my face anyways before I go to the match, so... Might as well try. Okay, that's really pretty and that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to look like I'm not wearing blush. Like, um, learning your undertones and learning what blush colors look best with your skin tone is super important. Then I got this face mask by Dr. Jart. I love Dr. Jart skincare. I love their face mask. They are really hydrating and they have a lot of product on them and they don't rip super, super easily, which I like. I'm very picky about sheet masks. And then I got this makeup by Mario. I love makeup by Mario um, products. So I wanted to try one of their ultra suede sculpting lip pencil. Oh, and it comes with a little sharpener. I love like a brown lip liner. I feel like brown lip liners are super natural looking. Love that. And then I got my favorite purple shampoo. And then I got this mask, which was sold out last time I was in Sephora. Yeah, the Hydro Rush by Amika. One of my many favorite hair care companies. I think the Olaplex mask can sometimes make your hair like too white, like too purple looking. So I like the Amika one, but it's also strong. And then I got the Kosas Brow Pop Nano. It's kind of silly of me to like be buying makeup products because I because I do get sent so many makeup products, but like it's really fun going and buying my own stuff. Is that weird? Not that I don't love gifting. I love gifting, but they don't always send like exactly the things I need. And I like shopping at Sephora. But yeah, this little brow pencil. I've never tried this Kosas one before. So, ooh, it's really, really small. Whoa, I've never seen a eyebrow pencil that skinny so 
that's cool so yeah i'm really excited for tommy's match tonight and yeah i had a lot of meetings today and to be honest guys i'm a little bit stressed um just like a little bit nah i'm like pretty decently stressed um, so like I'm working on projects for winter spring summer and also having to focus on like the fact that we're having a pop-up very soon August 26th and 27th and We're launching denim. We're launching a a whole new US Open pop-up um, Tennis collection. We're launching a new sweatsuit. That is like our fabric our design 100% dairy boy not wholesale um we're launching two new candles like it's just a crazy crazy time the amount of like new products like the amount of stuff that's going to be happening at the pop-up is crazy um the fact that i'm finally launching my denim is wild after all this time i've been working on it for over a year and a half and it's like finally happening we're finally launching our first pair with many more styles in the works. But one of our calls today that I had was actually with my publicist um, and my PR person. And I was just talking about how, talking about the pop-up and talking about how excited I am. I'm gonna be there in person the whole time. So if you come to the pop-up, you will meet me and like we will get to know each other and I wanna talk to everyone and make the time for everyone. And we have like over 2,000 RSVPs, which is crazy because like you don't have to RSVP to even go. So that was way beyond um, the number. The number of RSVPs like surpassed what we thought because not many people actually RSVP. So that was really cool if you RSVP'd like, thank you for RSVPing. It's like making me really excited. But anyways, what I was saying was is I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna be in person and I wanna like help you guys try on this denim and show you how i style it and show you how to wear it and show you guys like what size to get um i'm not gonna like share anything else until like we launch the photos and like and like part of the campaign for the denim and the pop-up but yeah just know that like i'm gonna be there and it's really important to me to like show you guys the denim and be there with you and um yeah so it's basically like first come first serve for the denim at the pop-up and i'm just so excited about it and then we're launching denim online like a month after the pop-up so the people that are going to be in new york and are going to go to the pop-up are going to be the first ones to experience dairy boy denim and basically get it like from me and my team because we're going to be there the whole weekend um so i'm just like so so excited i'm gonna do a q a on my instagram for the pop-up and like share details or questions that you guys have um but i couldn't like not talk about it in this vlog this vlog is a toronto vlog but that is literally around the corner and i know that i'm gonna blink and then it's gonna be the pop-up i'm gonna make a massive effort to continue to vlog because i know that i have so many amazing supporters who have supported either me through my socials or supported Dairy Boy. And I know that not everyone's gonna get to go to the pop-up. So I really want you guys to like experience it through my social media. So we have um, one of our team members who helps with the socials and like community management. Her name is Shelby. She's gonna be coming out to the pop-up. So she's gonna be helping me create content. Um, so if I'm like really busy with customers or I'm just really busy, like there's still gonna be vlog content. And then I got a really sick loft for the days are on the pop-up so i'm gonna be staying in this really cool loft i want to vlog that i'm gonna be having a party and dinners and like the whole thing so if you can't be there i really hope that you can i know that not everyone can but um if you can't be there i will try to like include you guys and just like create content for you guys so you feel like you are there anyways yeah i should probably get ready now but Okay guys, just finished getting ready. I'm wearing these little black shorts and then this blazer and just like a white tee. I'm actually gonna wear like a vintage baseball hat, I think, but Alex has it. But yeah, this is the outfit. And then I'm gonna, I think, use this black purse.
girl dinner, Brad. <laughs> girl dinner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kind of crazy, this is the building that I used to live in. Okay, so I did not really vlog today much. I went for a very long walk got an acai bowl and then I went and saw my friend Estelle, really amazing makeup artist and she also does eyebrows so I got my eyebrows done. One thing about Toronto and if you live here you know or maybe it's just like your norm but the beauty services in Toronto are next level. Eyebrows, nails, makeup artists, hairstylists, they have their shit together. Now I'm heading to Yorkville to go get a drink with my friend Hyla and Taylor. Hyla is actually the founder of 437, which is an activewear brand and swimwear brand. You guys definitely probably know what it is. And then Taylor is one of the founders of Nude Sticks. So yeah, they're amazing. I admire them a lot. Yeah, it's really nice to catch up with them while I'm here. So I'm going to go run and grab a drink before Tommy's match. This is what I'm wearing. You can't see. <laughs> stand on this thing it is this dress i think it's called sunset adore i'll check on that for you guys but yeah this little dress and then this little pink purse earrings are from heaven mayhem so yeah i'm gonna head there now just called my uber <laughs> just finished getting ready to go to Tommy's match. He's in the quarterfinals. He's playing the number one ranked player in the world, Carlos Alcaraz, who just won Wimbledon. Amazing player. It'll definitely be a good match. But yeah, I'm about to head there now. Today is the semi-finals of the tournament, but I just got all ready to go to the match. Wearing like a simple white dress with this white pullover and then heels. I want to show you guys like my full outfit maybe once I'm like outside so I can like put my camera up and show you guys. Earrings are heaven mayhem. I'm just like so happy. This has been such an amazing week of just like seeing friends being in Toronto. I love this city and I'm just so happy for Tommy. He's just had an amazing tournament so I'm really excited for tonight. I'm gonna go grab a drink with my friends before the match. We're gonna go to Kasamoto which is this really good sushi Asian spot Asian spot in Yorkville. They have really good cocktails so we're gonna go grab a drink on the roof before the match and then I'm gonna head to the match and I will bring you guys with me. Mm -hmm. 